anybody in America that would go into one of these sites, if they could see what we see on the team daily, it's gut-wrenching. In the middle of California's most pristine public land, during one of the state's worst droughts, pipes snake through the streams, siphoning large amounts of the public's water to grow weed. Nine times out of 10, they're cartel or drug trafficking organizations out of Mexico. He says the cartels have carved up the public's land for themselves. We have a rifle on the ground. That's the local wall division. Pump. Suspects on the run. Go by me, go by me. Do not move. Me and Corey stay with him. Good girl, good girl. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Well done, guys. Our team really specializes in apprehension, stealth, and stalking tactics. There's obviously an element of danger to this job, and we've had a lot of close calls. We always go into each mission with the mindset that this one can turn deadly any minute. I came around this brush thicket, and I see the front muzzle of an AR-15, and I went, Oh great. As I was drawing my gun out, the dog, I just saw her come off from the right through the manzanita and just nailed this guy and literally tackled him to the ground. My dog Phoebe's had about 114 bites. I jokingly refer to it as a fur missile. It's not only the armed grower with the AK-47, it's booby traps, punji pits, just waiting for us on trails. They have no idea what these guys are spraying on those plants. Fear Dan on their, uh, their next joint there, it might be their last one. They're mice and I'm a cat and my job is to chase mice and I'm gonna chase mice until I'm dead. We've taken hundreds of them into custody that didn't want to give up. If I was a bad guy out there doing what they're doing now, I'd be worried because uh, we're good. This is the United States of America. This is our land and whoever's out here doing this is gonna have to get caught.